Greetings everyone, my name is Anwater Wanomarin from It Pays to Fear God, and this is Verse Breakdown. Today's verse is John chapter 4 verse 24, where Jesus Christ stated, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. First of all, what does it mean to say that God is a spirit? Well, obviously a spirit is different from a natural person, their bodies are different. It is sown a natural body, and it is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 44. And God has a spirit body, meaning that we cannot see him. If we read Exodus chapter 33, verse 20, and First Kings chapter 8, verse 27, he kind of fills the heavens and the earth. If we read that Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 24, God doesn't sleep like all the other spirits in his habitation. If we read Psalm chapter 121, verse 4, he doesn't have flesh, blood, or bones. If we read Luke chapter 24, verse 39, he sees everything. If we read Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13, First Peter chapter 3 verse 12 and Psalms chapter 11 verse 4 and honestly the list goes on and on and on and on and on but all of this is only relevant because as a result of his nature him being that kind of person we can't worship him with our bodies and stuff like that because it's different from what God uses he uses our hearts that's why it says I will try the heart and stuff if we read that Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 10 and for Samuel chapter 16 verse 7 that is what God looks at and that's why we've been told to love God with all our heart soul and mind if we read the Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5 and Matthew chapter 22 verse 37 and not just that, but the reason why Jesus Christ was even saying that at all was because of one thing. That system of making burnt offerings and the necessity of that was coming to an end. The abomination of desolation was going to come in and that wouldn't be possible any longer, of course, thanks to the siege. When he therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Obviously, when you want to escape, you can't be performing burnt offerings and stuff like that. So Jesus Christ was saying, those who were made in the city because they want to serve God will not be able to do so. But the people who serve God in their hearts the spirit and not in the letter. If we read that Romans chapter 2 verse 29 and 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 6 are the ones who will survive and still build a relationship with God. Job did the same thing. Satan wanted to prove to God that Job was only worshipping him because of his riches that God had given him and stuff. But Job proved it because when all those things were taken away, he still worshipped God. His worship was not in the burnt offerings. It wasn't the fact that he was a very rich man. It was the fact that he had God's spirit, the Holy Spirit, and because of that, he was worshipping God in spirit and in truth. And this is only relevant because in our time, the last days, there are many things that are going on. Spirituality as a whole, the concept of worshiping God, honoring God, generally believing in God as a whole, is starting to come to a close. Those traditions that used to be celebrated, that used to be honored in this world, thanks to secularity, they're not in that condition any longer. Afraid that Amos chapter 8 verse 11, Behold, the day has come, said the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread or a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And I made a first breakdown on that in one of the other videos in this first breakdown channel. It is people who will be able to survive this. They'll still worship God, even though churches might be closed or, you know, that entire idea of worshiping God isn't respected anymore. They'll be able to inherit the rewards of the new world that is coming in the future. If we read Matthew chapter 24 and verses 12 and 13. And I don't need to go any further on discussing the verse in John chapter 4 verse 24, which reads, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth.